Hi, this is Randy Roth from the Institute for Creative Solutions, sharing foundational concepts about vibrant health through natural living. Today, I want to talk about preparing pure foods. And what I mean by that is not having a whole lot of chemicals and additives, colorings, preservatives, starting with food that comes from nature. And as long as it's not poisonous, we can figure out a way to prepare it. And we have for millions of years. So it's about having food that your body recognizes. We have grown up with nature for uh, most of human history. It's only in the last hundred years or less that we've started fabricating all kinds of chemicals to make things last longer, taste better with less uh, quality ingredients and be more colorful and change texture. Uh, we need to tell our bodies what we're eating so the texture should be what it was originally in most cases. Color should tell us that we have something that's healthy or isn't, it's gone bad, changed its color, turned gray or tan or brown. Uh, so you want to get pure foods, which means you're going to shop on the outside of your supermarket where most of the produce is and bread and eggs and milk and have, have things that are uh, like they came from nature. Now, bread, of course, is ground uh, wheat or other kind of seeds from different grains. So, but there's, it's a minimal processing. If it's still whole grain and it's been ground, and then we mix it with some, some yeast and maybe a little, some kind of sweetening that the yeast can ferment, and then we get a soft kind of bread that, that is nice and chewy. And yummy uh, but you know bread has been a staple for about at least 10,000 years and but if we add a whole lot of other stuff to it uh, colorings and preservatives and extenders and emulsifiers and flavorings it's not pure anymore and the body has to struggle to figure out what's good what do we keep and what do we send to the liver to be detoxified and what's going to get into the blood and scare our immune system so you want to eat pure food so when you look at a label and you do have to look at labels nowadays uh, make sure that the first uh, ingredients are foods that you recognize and make sure there aren't any of those long uh, things that are 20 letters long that with a lot of X's and things in them. And they, they may say natural coloring or natural flavoring, but they may have been significantly doctored in the chem lab. Uh, originally natural, but not so natural. So try to find things that are actually just the pure food. And then if you have a, uh, uh, a favorite recipe book or just Google it online and find the best way to prepare it. It's going to have the best flavor if it's organic. And as I've said in previous sessions, organic is going to taste better. It's going to nourish your body better. It's worth every penny. And the more of us who who uh, vote for organic foods with our pennies will definitely uh, lower the price eventually because more and more farmers will want to sell organic. So let's go with pure foods and that's it for today. Thanks.